Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well and I hope that you're excited by seeing this video. It's been almost two years since the last XCOM 2 campaign on this channel and about 10 years since the last XCOM Enemy Within playthrough. It is by far and large the most requested game that always comes up at all times. I know we all want an XCOM 3 and hopefully that comes soon, but for now, we're going back in, baby. And we're going back in aggressively. We are going to be playing XCOM Enemy Within. And about two weeks after that is complete, we're going to dive into XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Uh, my channel, as many of you probably know, became more well known around XCOM 2. So I imagine a lot of you are from that era. Uh, and I will say there's probably a lot of you that have never seen or played XCOM Enemy Within before. And actually, I would love to know in the comments on this video what your familiarity with XCOM Enemy Within is like. How much experience do you have? Have you played it? Have you not? Just let me know uh, what your thoughts are on Enemy Within. Uh, we're going to be playing Enemy Within with some second wave options and some minor mods. Mods for this are a little bit more intricate to install. We're going to have some graphical things, some reskins, some quality of life stuff. Uh, but I'll cover that when the campaign actually launches. Our starting continent for XCOM Enemy Within will be handled via a community post that uh, everybody can vote on. That post will show up in your subscriptions list if you're on uh, mobile. Uh, but if you want to go and check that out directly, you can go to youtube.com slash Christopherod and click on the community tab. You set the vibe tier or above, or if you're a patron in the appropriate tier, you can head over to the Soldier Submissions channel on Discord right now to make your submission immediately. Uh, make sure that you link your YouTube or Patreon to Discord so you get access to that channel. If you're not in Discord yet, I'll have links down below, or you can just go to discord.gg slash Christopher Odd. Now, if you're considering becoming a supporter in order to submit a soldier now, first of all, you do not have to do that. This is not a thing to promote new memberships, but generally when we do these campaigns, there are more members and more patrons, and I really appreciate that. But if you're unsure of whether to support as a YouTube member or Patreon, I highly suggest the YouTube membership route. And the reason I say that, I actually receive less from that, but for you, it's a better benefit. In addition to the custom soldier perk, you also get access to viewing YouTube videos before they're scheduled to the public. So for example, if I record a week of XCOM in advance because I'm going on vacation or something, uh, you will have access to all of those videos before they're published for uh, the general public. Doesn't change anything. I don't like lock videos behind that stuff, but uh, it's a cool perk and a lot of people have enjoyed that for the last couple of months. So consider that. Now we're gonna have our own backend character pool for Enemy Within because they don't have a character pool that you can just load characters into. We're gonna be drawing from that using a random number generator as required. Uh, members and patrons are guaranteed to be in that pool. But as I said, we're gonna also have regular submissions in the pool so that anybody has a chance to show up. Uh, we're gonna keep things relatively old school with the Enemy Within campaign. We're gonna simplify character bios for this and we're not gonna be doing log readings or anything intense like that. I may share some snippets here and there, um, but it's not gonna be as intense as it has been with the previous XCOM 2 campaigns. Now, when you submit a character, you're gonna to need to submit four things. Uh, their name, that includes first name, nickname, last name, uh, the visual description, and if you want, if you're, if you're submitting on Discord as a YouTube member or patron, you can include a screenshot of the um, hair, skin, armor options like that. If it's a regular submission in the comments, just give us a brief description of what your character would look like, what color the armor would be, and we'll handle the rest. And you have to answer two questions. Who were you before the invasion? And why did XCOM recruit you? Try to limit your submission uh, for those two descriptive elements to about 150 words total between the two. Uh, we want to keep this brief, get people interested in your character in a way that isn't a super long novel about each of them. Just give us the big highlights and, and why people should be excited about you. Classes are going to be randomized, so don't include any class specific stuff. And since we're playing Enemy Within, anybody can become a mech or a psionic at any point just as a heads up. 
I am super pumped about this. I am, uh, it's been, like, as I said, a decade since I've played Enemy Within, and I am rusty, baby. I've got to practice a little bit. I got to get in there and, like, dangle the soldiers and see what happens and see how many die. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. I'm very much looking forward to it. The whole metagame, I've kind of forgotten what the approach is there. So, you know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a trip. And for those that have never played XCOM Enemy Within before, I really hope you give it a chance because it, it is incredible and I love that game. That's what got me into XCOM. Actually, Enemy Unknown got me into it, but XCOM Enemy Within was like such a huge expansion to that game that I was like blown away. Anyways, hope you're excited, guys. I will have more news for you when the campaign launches. But uh, if you have any questions, leave me a note down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. And we'll go from there. Thank you so much. And we'll see you very soon with a brand new campaign. Bye for now.